What's up? My name's Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So with 2022 coming around, there's a ton of new games and a ton of people looking for crosshairs in games that don't have good crosshairs or don't have them at all. Of course, custom software like Custom Desktop Loader and other popular free apps have become blocked or banned in certain apps. Some games only join online servers, let you launch the game, etc, etc. In this video for 2022, I've got a brand new piece of software for you that should do the job pretty well. Just a quick heads up, I was given a key and paid to create this video by Centerpoint Gaming, but I wasn't told to say anything in particular, I have complete control over the video and what I say. So without further ado, let's get into it. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Centerpoint Gaming's website. Here, you can try Crosshair X for free in the Microsoft Store over here with a free trial, or you could buy it outright. It's super cheap, 67 Rand, that should be about 4 or 5 dollars. Of course, if you don't want to spend any money, don't worry, you can use the completely free Crosshair V2, which you'll find at the very top of the page over here and in the Microsoft App Store over here, Crosshair V2. There will be links to both of these, as well as Centerpoint Gaming's official website, so you can grab as much info as you need. Without further ado, Let's begin with the free version. Besides the free version having a more simple UI compared to the full Crosshair X software, the only limitation of the free software is that it doesn't work in exclusive full screen games. So it'll work in borderless and windowed full screen games. To begin, I'll click download it now for free and in the Microsoft App Store, simply click get, then open in Microsoft Store. This will fire up the store on my computer where I can then click get. When it's done downloading, click open and you should immediately see a crosshair on your screen. Just keep in mind, if you don't see the crosshair inside of your game, like it is on the desktop over here, make sure you're running your game in the borderless or full screen windowed mode. Once again, Crosshair X, you don't have to worry about this. Anyways, you can immediately see a crosshair on my screen here, overlaid over whatever application I choose to pull up. In the top right, we have some controls. F2 to show or hide the menu, Z to change the color, X to change the shape and toggle through the many available ones, C to change the size, and simply F3, the panic button to exit out of the software. Super simple, minimal configuration, and it works just fine. Firing up Apex Legends, and simply loading into training, for example. You can see I've only got the default point over here. I don't have the actual crosshair. Why is that? Well, simply I'm playing in full screen. Hit escape, settings, video, and change it out of full screen to either windowed or borderless windowed preferred. When you've done some, your screen will adjust, and there's the crosshair as well as the overlay in the top right. As for FPS loss, there's nothing too noticeable, but of course playing in full screen windowed or windowed mode, you will notice some sort of FPS drop. Of course, holding C, weird things are happening, but if we simply hit F2 to show or hide it, you can see that we're no longer able to adjust the crosshair and things are now locked in place. I see I clicked on training and not the practice area. Oh well. Anyways, you get the gist of it. Things work as you expect. Let's quickly quit out of the game. I'll then hit F2 and F3. Now the program's closed. I don't think you need to hit F2 first, but regardless, there you go. If you'd like to get the full Crosshair X, you can of course get it through the Microsoft Store or through Steam if you prefer. Simply click launch and wait for it to fire up. After a simple animation, we can choose a language, choose a default crosshair to start with, as we can customize this quite a bit, they introduce their community sharing tab, some more designer information, shortcuts such as Alt Shift and Z to hide it or show it anytime in game, and Alt Shift plus arrow keys in order to move it around and position it properly. Of course, a little pop-up telling you if you don't see your crosshair, make sure you're playing in windowed full screen or borderless mode. Gotcha. If we click go here, it'll take us to the exclusive full screen tab over here with some more information. Xbox Game Bar is a trusted platform built by Microsoft that enables native in-game overlays. If we simply click link over here, it'll pop up the Microsoft Store where we can click get to download the Crosshair X extension. Don't worry, you don't need an Xbox Game Pass subscription or a physical Xbox for this. Anyways, once it's installed, you can simply close out of the store and follow the simple guide here in order to pin the widget. Or of course, you can follow me. Hold Start and press G to bring up the Xbox Game Bar, but if you don't have that hotkey working, simply fire up the Xbox Game Bar by searching for it. At the very top, click the Widgets menu button, and inside of here you'll find the Crosshair X extension that we just installed. Pulling it over, you can see this over here. There's some steps that we need to follow. First of all, click Center, then click Pin, doesn't matter which way you press these, and in the top right we'll enable click through. So, enable click through, and there's our crosshair over here. If we click out of the game bar over here, 
you can see our crosshair is still located properly. This should stay over exclusive full screen games, etc., giving you really good compatibility. Of course, because it's running through the Xbox game bar rather than injecting into the game, it should also be rather undetectable. Of course, if you'd like, you can drop down the widgets and make sure that you have it starred over here. That way it'll show up at the very top here, easy to open. Anyway, clicking out of it, we now have our crosshair over here. Let's head across to the designer tab. And here we can choose the center dot size, opacity, etc., and customize it to our liking. We can choose a shape as well as shapes for the lines over here, outline thickness and opacity, and firing over here, which happens when you hold down left click. This will be rather exciting to test out. Anyways, when you get a crosshair that you like, give it a name and click save. Once you've done so, on the save tab over here, you'll find any unnamed ones and named ones you have saved, and you can change between them by clicking them, and of course, rename them by clicking that edit button, give it a different name, save, and or delete it. Of course, if you're not that creative, head across to the community tab, and inside of here, we can pick a bunch of different crosshairs. If you get annoyed by the crosshair on your screen, hit Alt, Shift, and Z in order to toggle it on and off. Let's go ahead and pick a different crosshair here, or of course, from the Featured tab over here. Let's go for, say, Blue Dream. There we have it. With all of that out of the way, there's only really the position and toggle where we can move it around, and of course, options where we can change things about the program, such as starting up with Windows, starting minimized, Toggle crosshair with right click, such as holding right click will hide it, and holding right click will show it, depending on what you like. I'll go with hide, as scoping in usually places a crosshair here, and it could interfere with it. Discord integration over here, simply turned on by default, will let people know that you're using Crosshair X, but you may of course not like this. If you don't, simply make sure to come in here, turn it off, and leave it at that. With that crosshair now configured, you can exit out of the program, and simply leave it running. Once again, to turn it off, Alt-Shift-Z, or of course, open up the game bar, start NG, and you can exit out of it here, and fire it up once again from the widgets menu, or if you start it up here. Super simple. Pin, center, done. As the previous example, let's fire up Apex Legends. Just this time, we'll be heading into full screen mode. Play firing range this time, and of course, you can see my crosser over my game now. My FPS will be a bit lower as OBS seems to have issues capturing the Xbox game bar overlay, but you can take my word for it, you should have better FPS here, especially if you're actually playing your games in full screen mode. If you remember, we previously had our game running in borderless mode, but if we hit escape, settings, video, you can see it's already reset to full screen mode up here. Of course, we can play on any of these other ones, but full screen will be the best for FPS and of course, performance. With all of that out of the way, because it's running through the Xbox game bar, it should work pretty much seamlessly. Of course, there's the hold right click to get it to disappear in action. It's just as simple as it gets. The fact that this runs through the Xbox game bar makes it a really good choice for avoiding pesky anti-cheats, etc. Having a crosshair is built into some monitors and of course, something they shouldn't block you from having. It just levels the playing field. So let's quickly fire into say Tarkov, one of the more pesky programs to get an overlay on. As you can see, I'm here in the main menu, there's the crosser on my screen, and I'm currently in windowed borderless mode. Graphics, I'll change it to full screen. This game seems to be running in some kind of different full screen. I'm not able to record it properly, and this crosser isn't placed over the game running in its exclusive full screen mode, but just having the crosser here in borderless is more than enough. Usually this is something you'll struggle with in games like Tarkov because of their strict anti-cheat. I need to load into an offline match as it's rather late. There we are in Tarkov and I have my crosshair on my screen. This game's anti-cheat is particularly harsh on some crosshair software, but this seems to be doing just fine. A super unique idea that just works really well. If you're looking for crosshair software, I definitely recommend trying this out. But of course, you can decide whether it's worth your money or not. Unbiased opinion, hey, at least it works in games that try their absolute hardest to get you to not play with a crosshair. So that's just a super cool thing. Anyways, that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Money's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.